This is Heather Stevenson, Project Coordinator at the Lonus Group. This tutorial will show you how to format and edit text in Publisher. To learn more about changing photos, printing, or saving as a PDF, see our other video, Publisher 2013, Photo Editing Tutorial. For this demonstration, I will again be using Publisher 2013. Today I will be editing the text for a house flyer. Publisher is a powerful document creating and editing tool with many options. The ribbon, which appears at the top of the page, is a menu with all the tools we will need to format our document. One shortcut that I find invaluable is at the very top left. See the arrow and left click to the Customize Quick Access Toolbar pull down menu. This is exactly what it says, Quick Access Toolbar. Using this means you do not have to move from the different tabs in the ribbon to complete an action like spell check, save, or undo. I highly recommend checking the save, undo, redo, and maybe even the spelling options. Sometimes when editing a document, you may need to zoom in or out. To zoom, you may either drag the marker up or down, or click the plus or minus button. Let's take a look at the view tab on the ribbon. Here you will see we have some options that we can check or uncheck. I'm going to check the boundaries box. When I do that, you'll see that the view of my flyer has changed to show me the layout of editable items. This is helpful to know which items can be edited and the boundaries of those items. When we build your templates in Publisher, we usually put a few items on what's called the master page. When they are on the master page, they cannot be changed unless you go to that master page. That ensures that your branding will remain intact even if you move or change other items in your file. Let's click on the box that says Waterfront. When I click the box, look at the top of my screen. You will see two highlighted tabs. Those are there to help guide you to all the tools at your disposal for the item you have clicked. When I select the text box tools, look at all the options I have. Text fit, direction, hyphenation, bold, underline, italic, alignment options, and more. When I click the drawing tools tab, it shows me all the tools for editing the look of my text box, like filling it with color or adding a border. There are many other options here, but let's move on to editing some text in this box. Let's change the title from Waterfront to Welcome Home. Editing text in Publisher is very easy. I'm going to left click in this box to change the text that is currently there. You can see my cursor flashing. I can now type text in this box. I can click after the text if I would like to add to the current text or click in front of the current text to add text before. I can also delete the text that is already there by simply clicking the delete button on my keyboard. Remember that if you edit or change something and wish to revert it to the way it was before, you may simply use your quick access toolbar and click the undo button like this. Another way to edit the text in this box, which may even save some time, is to highlight the text that is currently there and just start typing over it. That will replace the current text with the new text you type. I will show you this again as I change the address. Between the street address and city is a vertical line. As you probably already know, you don't have a key on your keyboard to create this symbol. To add symbols like the registered trademark symbol that is required by the word Realtor, use the Insert tab. Here you will find Symbol with a drop-down box. Simply click the symbol you need added and it will insert it into your text box. We can also make this text bold if we would like it to stand out a little more by highlighting the text and clicking on the bold icon. We can also color the inside of the box by going to the drawing tools and using the shape fill button. You can even select the sample fill button to use a color already used in your document. Maybe you would like a border around your box. Experiment using the border colors. Let's take a look at our marketing remarks below the main photo. You may change the text in this box as we did above, or if you are copying from the MLS or another source, you may use the paste option by right clicking and choosing the best option. Like we always say here at the Lonus Group, right click is your friend. Even when you paste in this box, the first letter will remain large because the text box has a drop cap. 
To remove or change this, go to your text box tools and click the drop cap down menu to select a different option. There are a couple more items I would like to point out in this particular text box. When I click on this text box, look at the bottom right hand corner. That box with the three dots is telling me that this box is too small for the amount and size of the text I have typed in it. We have two options here. Both can be extremely useful. One option is to make the text fit. This will shrink the text to the best size to fit in this box. To do this, I will go to the text box tools and click the text fit drop down menu. Here you have options. I'm going to try the best fit option. Now you can see that my text fits in the box. Use your judgment to determine if you like the look. Click in the box to see the new size of your text by looking at the font box. My text went from size 11.5 to 9.8. Perhaps you decide that the text is too small and you would like to try option B. Don't forget your quick access undo button. Earlier we spoke about the boundaries as we made them visible to see how big or small the boxes are. I can see that I have room to make this text box larger to better fit the size and the amount of text I have. When I click on the box, you will see red dots that indicate where I can drag to make this box larger, like this. Now all my text fits in the box. I can tell because I don't have the little box with the three dots showing anymore. Let's talk about hyphens. Looking at my text, you can see that it has automatically hyphened the text for me. I personally don't want any of my text to hyphen on this flyer. Going back to my text box tools, I'm going to click on hyphenation. You will see this box pop up with different options. I am simply going to unselect the automatically hyphenate the story box. Voila, done no more hyphenations. Take a look at the bulleted text below. When I click on the box, you'll see that once again I have too much text and not enough space. Looking at my flyer, I really don't want to resize this text box because of my name treatment below. What I do see is that I have space on the right hand side for additional text. Since this is a list, perhaps adding a column might be the perfect solution. To create an additional column in this text box, I will just go to the text box tools and select the drop down menu next to the column icon and select two columns. A side note about columns is that the text fit is no longer an option. I can tell when something is no longer an option because it is grayed out. There are also options for changing the look of the bullet. To change how my bullet looks, I will select all my text. You can do this by left clicking and dragging until it's all selected or using the select all text in the text box option in the upper right hand corner. I suggest this option just in case your text box is too small for all your text. Once I have selected all my text, I can click the drop down menu in the paragraph box from the home tab. I can also change this to a numbered list if warranted. To change the font in your text box, just highlight the text or select all and go to the font box. There you will see the current font that is being used and an arrow to a drop down menu for the fonts that are available. Note that you may have to resize your text to fit in the text box when you select a new font. To see what your flyer will look like without the boundary lines, click view and unselect boundaries. We also suggest that you do a test print to make sure your flyer looks exactly as you intended. We recommend you get to know Publisher and all the editing tools within it by saving one of your templates and taking some time to experiment with all the editing options. This concludes the tutorial on editing text in Publisher. If you have any questions, please send an email to support at thelonusgroup.com. Thank you for watching.